hey what's up youtubers i am back with another sony vegas pro tutorial in this tutorial i will show you how to make this dynamic shadows and light effect in it so let's dive right into it and we are back for this tutorial i am using the 12th version but you can use older versions too this technique should work fine with older versions so let's get started first we have to add 4 tracks here and we can do it either by right clicking and in clicking on this insert video track or by either by click holding ctrl shift plus q and hitting it by 3 times we will get these 3 tracks and the next thing we have to do is add a solid color background for this tutorial i'm going to use this color but you can choose any other color of your liking but light color works the best the next step we have to do is to add a color gradient for this tutorial i'm going to use this elliptical transparent to black and after that adjust it to your liking This looks fine. And next step we have to do is add a text media here. We can do it by right clicking on the track and clicking on this insert media track. And put whatever text you want. We should resize it to smaller so it fits our screen. This looks fine and click on this B icon to make it bold next step we have to do is to make sure this is this is the same length as the our background and we now we have to add the shadows to this text we can do that by clicking on this video event video effects tab and going to the light rays and we have to choose this moderate light rays and click and drag it onto the text layer and make the color black and blend to full further to full y to full x to full and strength to full and this thing here it is a light source from where the light is going it is right now in the middle of the so light is going everywhere but I want to light to come from here and go from here to here so shadows should work accordingly so I will drag my light source from here to here now you can see the shadows are reacting to the light and we have to animate it we can do it by clicking on this animate button and drag this cursor to the end and then drag the light source to the end this corner and this sh should work the trick and as you can see it is working now next thing we have to do is add the lens flare for, for doing that we have to go to the media generator tab and click on the solid color and choose the black color and add this composition mode to the add here you can choose either add or the screen what this will do is remove the black from the top and left are the whatever extra color are there so next step you have to do is add a lens flare and go to the video effects and add lens flare you can choose any of this lens flare sets for this tutorial i'm going to use the 105 mm one and after that click on the light position and drag it to this corner so this will make this light to here to repel, reflect to the shadows here and you can play with the settings and make it to your liking as you like it and 
we have to animate the light now we can do this by clicking on this animate button and drag this cursor to the end and drag this point to end here this will animate our light from here to here so now it should work like that as you can see it is working fine but it is too sharp and I want to add add a Gaussian blur for that we have to go to the video effects tab and add a Gaussian blur and drag it to the top layer here and play with the settings and make it to your liking as you like them uh, for me this should work fine and now let's see how it looks it looks much more realistic and nice next second last step here we have to do is add a bump map to this text layer so we can have a light effect on this text for that we have to go to the video effects tab and go to the bump map for this we will choose the upper right glow and drag it to the our text layer here as you can see it makes text a little bit jerky here and you can see edges are not smooth for that we have to make it this less bump height less and this will make the thin side I am going to choose the 100 and this works fine for me but you should play with the settings and make it to your liking after that you should click on this location source for the animating to the text and click on this animate button and drag this cursor to the end and click on this and add a minus sign here and this should work and we are almost done here as you can see the light goes on to the text too now and the next step we have to do is to add a fade in and out effect to the video we can do by selecting all the track first first we have to click on the top track and hold shift and click on the bottom track this will select all the tracks here and next thing we have to do is to go to the corner of the video this will give us a fade out offset set click on the corner and drag it little bit further and do the same at the start point this will give us a nice fade in and out effect I hope you understand each and every step what I took here if you have any questions or queries please post in the comment section below I will glad to help you out I hope you like it and enjoy it please hit like and subscribe button for more videos and see you guys in the next video bye bye